Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I am going to discuss how you can perform feature scaling in MATLAB okay on a data set. So this is another very very important data pre-processing requirement for some of the machine learning algorithms. Generally in machine learning uh, algorithms whatever we data set we use there are mainly two components one are independent data another one are dependent data we try to predict or classify our dependent data based on our independent data. Like for example, suppose we are having one age and salary data set, okay. Now we can uh, predict the salary using this age. So age becomes independent data set, salary becomes dependent data set, okay. Now see, age are very small with respect to salary, right? Because salary uh, typically very high value, uh, more than 10,000 and age are within 100 like that. Now the problem appears, I am just giving one example, later I will be discussing k-means algorithm. So if you consider k-means algorithm, suppose we want to, or a k nearest neighbor uh, algorithm, whatever, uh, for that suppose we require uh, the distance between two data points, okay, suppose Euclidean distance x axis is age, y axis is salary, x1 and x2, in between these two points the distance we have to calculate. Now, as the age is very less compared to salary, eventually what will happen, the effect of age on the overall uh, system will become very less. Salary will be dominating factor. Like for example, suppose I want to calculate the Euclidean distance between the data 1 and data 3, okay? What is data 1? 44, 72,000, data 2 is 30 and 54,000. So what is the Euclidean distance? root over 44 minus 30 whole square plus 72,000 minus 54 whole square, right? So if we write that, so in between distance, Euclidean distance between 1 and 3, we will be getting, knowing this formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. And using that, if we implement 44 minus 30 whole square plus 72,000 minus 54 whole square, see 72,000 minus 54 whole square basically result into this much big value, 3, 2, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Whereas 44 minus 30 whole square is nothing but 196, okay. So obviously it is quite clear that the salary uh, difference is dominating compared to age, okay. Although age is completely related with salary, but here the effect of age difference is, uh, becomes very much dilute with respect to salary difference, right. So this kind of thing should not happen in our machine learning model, whether you are considering k-means or k-nearest never, etc. So for that, we uh, have two particular algorithm. One is called normalization, one is called standardization. Standardization feature scaling concept we will be discussing in our next video. For the time being, we will be discussing normalization. What we do in case of normalization? Our new data set x mu is equal to uh, xi minus mean of x minus max of s minus mean of x. Okay, so basically we try to normalize using the maximum and minimum of our data that is x, x data okay that may be h or some other variable also okay simple formula you can see from each data point we subtract the minimum of that corresponding column and we divide that by maximum minus minimum of that corresponding column so obviously it is quite clear after normalization the x mu will be in between 0 and 1 it cannot be some other value apart from 0 and 1 when it will be 0 when xi that particular data point is minimum so minimum minus minimum will become 0 so that particular data point will become 0 after normalization and maximum it can go up to 1 like g within 0 and 1 only it will be happening okay so let us directly go to MATLAB and uh, import the data so I am just clicking on import data okay and here I am taking my data. So data.csv file I am taking. And here I am having this kind of data set where first one is country, then age, then salary, then purchased. Okay, you can see age and salary huge difference is there. I am just simply importing that. Okay, there is no null value or uh, none that is not a number is not present. So well and good. Otherwise we have to first clean the data. If you write data, we will be getting our data set, right? All right. Now, what we can do, we can write like this data dot age equal to see how I am doing data dot age 
minus of mean of data dot age divide by we have to divide by max minus mean right so minus and this is max okay i hope our algorithm should work just let us run yeah and same thing we have to implement for salary okay salary equal to data dot salary minus mean of data dot salary minus max of salary minus instead of age we have to write salary okay run that now if we write data and hit enter see all our data are basically scaled in between 0 and 1 now the particular salary will not be dominating with respect to age in a very high amount okay so basically here you can see 0 we are getting for spanish why uh, for uh, spain see here because in the age this is the minimum one right so for minimum obviously we will be getting zero because uh, in the formula min minus min will become zero and where we are getting one value like here we are getting one or here in the age column we are getting one so in spain only uh, see here uh, from the fourth uh, row from the down from the bottom okay so this fourth row why we are getting one in this particular case because you can see 78 is the maximum age in the whole column right so as a result what is happening in this formula when you are putting maximum minus minimum and uh, denominator also maximum minus minimum so as a result whole numerator and denominator will cancel each other and it will become result to one okay so this is called feature scaling method using what normalization in our next video we will be checking another method which is called standardization okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment and if you have not subscribed to our channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching